Hello. I almost said good morning. Hello. Uh, this is... Oh, what's the date today? The 11th, I think. The 11th? 11-11. Nice. Yeah. Today is November 11th. So this is an update. It. So I, w I was doing them a week apart. But we had a busy week. Um, and, and I also felt like this update should have what happened on Tuesday because we had a doctor's visit on Tuesday mm -hmm. um so I waited uh, and the only reason I'm saying that I feel like no one would care um except water bottle <laughs> left a comment in on discord to me so some things never change it's just trying to please water bottle um with how often you make the videos yeah, she's like, uh, like, where's the next update? And I was like, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> I'm not having a stroke. But we can do it right away. So, um, update, uh, feels like it's been a, a while since I've gone to, yesterday felt like a week in itself. Yeah. Um, so, I can't remember what my last um therapy was pretty sure it was ot last week ot which um i think i did some typing yes so i could get back to work yes um was that all i did oh there was a lot of little cool little like mm -hmm. um, my fine motor tests you know yeah. i thought they were fun but yeah, they're, they're supposed to help me. They're pretty, they're pretty cool. And then, um, uh, my other, my physical therapy, oh, I had a new physical therapist, or a substitute physical therapist last week. No, that was two weeks ago. Last oh. week we didn't even have physical therapy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's why there hasn't been a video. We haven't had much therapy. Um, yeah. So, uh, this week I have physical therapy and an yeah. occupational. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, it's one of those weird things. You have like a doctor's appointment um, where you have two doctor's appointments, but they're not back to back. So you have to figure out what you're going to do for an hour, but you can't leave because then you'll be late to your other doctor's appointment yeah um so it's a first world problem but I, <laughs> i'm glad that i have it it's nice to have mundane problems like that yeah yeah it makes you feel normal you know mm -hmm. uh so that's really it with that um i had a uh a big doctor visit this week um, on Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Yesterday. On Tuesday. Oh, yesterday. Man, it really feels like forever ago. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and what do I... It's, it's called AVM. AVM. Or that's the abbreviation. I can't pronounce it. You have, it's a blood vessel disorder. A blood vessel disorder. Which is what? led to the stroke yeah that's what caused the hemorrhage and, and then it could happen again mm -hmm. so we have to get rid of that blood vessel mm -hmm. um which sometimes could be hard but we have a, a pretty ideal situation at least that i'm in mm -hmm. where it's like it's going to be pretty easy for them mm -hmm. right yeah so, so i have surgery in like two a weeks. Month? Just a couple weeks. Oh, a couple weeks? Yeah, it's December 3rd and 4th. Yeah, so I have brain surgery December 3rd or 4th. Um, I don't know if it's going to leave a cool scar. I don't know. It makes me afraid to have haircuts going forward. Yeah. If I'm being honest. <laughs> like... If there's a scar, I don't, I don't, this isn't, I don't think this is how it works. 
but if there's a scar, like could the person cutting my hair accidentally like screw up and reopen the scar? I don't know. No. You would, they'll probably shave your head and then you wouldn't get a haircut again until it, the wound is healed. And then once it's healed, like, it would just be like any other cut at that point. Like, if they cut your head, they just randomly cut you. Like, mm. it's not gonna just burst open. Yeah. So that's, that's in the future. The yeah. Plan for the future. Do you want me to explain kind of what the procedure is? Sure. So he... In the brain, you, of course, have a bunch of veins and blood vessels and stuff. And yesterday, during his angiogram, they found a very swollen... Uh, blood vessel? Blood vessel, like a vein. You can very easily see which vein is drawing too much blood to the AVM. So what they're going to do the first day, on December 3rd, is go in and kind of cauterize it and... It's kind of like glue, like glue it shut, so that way it won't bleed as much. And then on the fourth, they're going to go in and remove it. And he does have like so this AVM is towards the back of his head, so it's easy to access. And you actually have a hematoma right now from the stroke, which makes it even more ideal to access because there's the brain is already pushed out of the way. So very low risk of any brain injury, um, and the gluing it shut the day before will help make sure you know it doesn't burst while they're trying to remove it, and no excessive bleeding during surgery. So as far yeah. as brain surgery goes, they've they ideal condition. This is very ideal. Yeah. Yeah. It is still brain surgery, but this is very ideal. Yeah. More ideal is not to have brain surgery, but yeah, that's off the list. It is off the list. Yeah. And we learned this is a genetic condition, so he was born with it, so we'll have to have some follow-up appointments to make sure no new AMVs pop up, but with this surgery, this surgery will remove this one completely. It'll be 100% effective, so yeah. this one will be gone, and there will be no more risk of hemorrhage. The future risk will be, does a new one develop? So, yeah. and the other uh, treatment options that we had for this were not a hundred percent effective. So this they were like eighty and ninety percent, which is yeah high, but yeah we'd rather just not worry about it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that that was the doctor visit yesterday. Um, and so we're just going on doing more therapy mm -hmm. and then uh, I'll be in the hospital for like a week mm -hmm. after this surgery, hopefully for a week, just a week. Um, um, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, and then, um, one thing I wanted to talk about because I, I don't think I've talked about it is the um, depression. Mm -hmm. I've definitely been more depressed. Um, I, I've dealt with depression before, but it was, it was just a very small amount mm -hmm. that I wouldn't even consider dealing with depression. Mm -hmm. Just slight, small mood swings. But this one, this time is much worse. Specifically after Yesterday's meeting or overall? I feel like I just have been dealing with it quite a bit. Yeah. And I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't think I really dealt, like I've had that big of an issue with it before. Yeah. Yeah. So, dealing with that and just like, uh, uh, I don't know. I guess we're not really dealing with it. But I don't know if we have to. I don't know. What do you think? Um, I think each person 
goes with or goes through it differently. So I think if you're ever at a point where you feel like you need to talk to a professional, we should do that. Or I know your doctor has offered you mood stabilizers. I think what I witnessed from you, I don't feel like, like I feel like you struggle with it more frequently, but not constantly. But that might not be true. That might just be what my observations, you might be struggling with it constantly. Oh. Oh, no. So I think it's, uh, you know, I think it's something we'll just have to kind of explore and if we, yeah, if we want to get a medical professional to help us out, then... I deleted what I wanted to talk about. Oh. Huh? That sucks. Whoops. Oh, well. Yeah, so we're just figuring it out. You know, yeah. because we're not doing anything any different, any different than anyone else would right now. It's just figuring out how to do life. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, played some, I played, I played, uh, Minecraft last mm -hmm. week. Got your computer hooked um, up. I'm very proud of myself for that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, I played Minecraft, uh, with Soxers. Yeah. Um, and, uh, it felt great because it, it felt normal, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it felt really good. And uh, I was talk. I talked to Soxters on the phone before Minecraft, and that felt good just to talk to him. And then it felt good to play Minecraft with him. Except I don't. I, I didn't really play Minecraft. I just ran around because mm -hmm. I didn't know what else to do. I'm still trying to get back into gaming. Mm -hmm. So thank you to everyone who's in the Minecraft realm and is being patient. I um, will have an answer by this weekend on whether we can do the end together or whether you guys should just go on without me. Mm -hmm. um, I had surgery yesterday, so I can't walk down the stairs um, for another day. And then until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. So I, I, I can hopefully go downstairs. Uh, either Saturday or Sunday, and then really see if we can play Minecraft or do uh, the end. Um, I think that's it. I have uh, I have some therapies this week, um, and then that's really that's really it. It's just therapies and and uh, doctor visits. Uh, soon to be three therapies a week, which mm -hmm. will hopefully be good. Um, I don't know. My, my biggest fear with the brain injury thing is uh, when we do the surgery next month, is that I'll regress because you never know when you're opening up the brain. But that's... I don't know. Fears are usually extremes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't know. Anything new with you, Candice? Not really. Just hanging out. Just I decided to clean today. So that's what, Tyrone has this nice little backdrop. It's my <laughs> weaving that needs to be finished. That's yeah. for my mom. But, yeah, that area that he's in right now is kind of a mess. So, clean that. We just had our birthdays. So was... Oh, we did have our birthdays. Thank you, Soxers. Yes. For sending us gifts. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, they were mostly snacks. That we've hidden is, from uh, our family. <laughs> which is, what it says about us isn't very good things. <laughs> Yeah, chips, M and M's, mm. which your family is crazy about. Yeah, my mom came in here the other day, I think just to say goodnight or something, and she stopped in her track. She's like, "Oh, are those M and M's to share? <laughs> They're on my yeah. nightstand." Uh, and I was like, "You can have some M and M's. <laughs> Let her have a little bowl that's, of it." A, I I hope 
your family never gets into drugs because they have very addictive behaviors. <laughs> they like the um, Funyuns. Oh yeah, Funyuns. Like your family. <laughs> Um, my, I think, I think it's not dramatic or absurd to say they would kill each other for it. I, yeah, that might be accurate. So to tell you guys a story. So my, so who lives with us is my parents and my little sister, Madison. Well, technically we live with them. Yeah, yeah, we live with them. And then my little sister, Maddie, who you guys met on the stream and my little brother, McLean, and... Uh, McLean will like take the Funyuns into his room and then not reemerge. Even if he doesn't eat them all, he just Those keeps the them. Worst people to share snacks. <laughs> he just keeps them in his room. And then Maddie is dating a guy named Cade. He's really sweet. We like him. Yeah. And Cade was getting in the snack cupboard and was like, "Oh, can I have some of these Funyuns?" And Madison tells him. No, those are Candace and Tyrone's. So what I mean, she's... He's not going to take Funyuns away from a guy who <laughs> just had a stroke. Because yeah. Kate's a sweetheart. And so he's, okay. Yeah. And so Maddie's been using... She tells him the snacks are ours when she really wants it for herself yeah. and doesn't want to share with her boyfriend. <laughs> Which is... That's brutal. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> so I told her I told him last night at dinner <laughs> I outed her yeah. he was not happy he wasn't a, a lot of onions were missed out on because <laughs> he was being nice and yeah. saving them for me yeah yeah so that's 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 the update that's pretty much it right yeah I can't think of anything else no I think uh yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, your computer is pretty much all hooked up. We just have to find a piece for the microphone, and then that should be 100%. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're almost 100% unpacked. I have to unpack my work box, my workstation, which I'm not excited about. Work. Work. You work. Know, well, on next video, we should have an update on your work situation, either the next one or the one after that. Hopefully, yeah, because for me, my leave of absence ends December 1st, and then, of course, you go back into the hospital the 3rd, so yeah. I've reached out to see if I can add, just, like, add on two weeks to it, because that should be plenty of time, or do you guys want me back for two weeks and then just off for a week? And so we'll see what happens yeah. from that. And I've got some PTO left, which I was hoping to use for Christmas, but worst case, I go back and take some PTO so yeah yeah that's the update that's the update there it is I can't think of anything else I I there, there definitely was some other stuff I had it all written down mm. but while I was sitting there I guess I bumped into the delete button rip <sighs> typical stroke yeah no um, but that's it I have anything else to say no, miss you guys? Okay, I guess I do. Yeah, miss you guys. Yeah, I do miss you guys. It's, I've really enjoyed, I really enjoyed uh, that night where I just got to chat with Soxers. Yeah. Um, and then uh, when I got on Minecraft, he was on. Um, and then I got lost. Yeah. And then he took me back to my home on Minecraft. But that was just really nice. Yeah. Because, you know, it was a, a taste of stuff I enjoyed before. And, yeah, so I really liked that. Um, I got into the Discord and I joked around. I don't know if I joked around. I had talked with Jess a little bit, and that was nice. Yeah. Um... You know, uh, uh, hopefully I can get on. If not, um, I should be on the Discord more often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, just healing day by day. Um, I don't think these salts have anything to do with it. <laughs> but they look really cool. 
They do look cool. And maybe they do. I don't actually know. And the oil that we're diffusing is, smells nice. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. That's it. All right. All right. Thanks, guys.